hello hello welcome back to my channel hey if you're new here so if you're new here i'm currently 38 weeks pregnant just putting it out there 38 weeks pregnant absolutely insane but it's getting close <laughs> um i also have a two-year-old makes this part of pregnancy really really fun because i am exhausted but have to basically still somewhat entertain a two-year-old now that seems like a really funny thing to say but at this point of pregnancy oh, it is it's tricky i'm not doing anything today because if you can't tell i'm so so tired but i've come on here because talia is currently asleep and i need to update you guys as an anxious girly who thought that this pregnancy was going great struggling now because of the last few weeks yeah i don't know it just didn't it didn't sit well with me so last night chris came in the door at half past five and it occurred to me that i've not felt the baby move all day when you don't feel the baby move they usually say to you like have a sugary something or have a really cold drink because that can get the baby moving without even thinking i'd had those things and the baby still hadn't moved so i was having quite a productive day just going around doing washing sorting stuff um about lunchtime i had a pint and a half of milk because that has been my latest like craving i just want to drink milk um obviously a cold drink and nothing and again didn't really put two and two together because i just i just didn't and then chris came in the door and usually like babies hear a deeper voice and it just gets them moving Chris came in and nothing and I at this point was like almost starting to panic a little bit because I thought I've like I've literally felt nothing from him and if you saw my last vlog last week like he moves he's moving crazy at the moment like it's almost insane so I showered because I was like your girl's gonna have an early night you showered at like five o'clock and ready to have like dinner and then go to bed came downstairs and I said to Chris so I was like i'm not feeling him move chris will literally open his mouth and the mexican waves start coming nothing happened and i was like okay like i'm actually really anxious about this now i hadn't felt him i rang the day assessment unit and had to wait on hold for like 15 minutes because they were busy there's also someone else on hold for the same amount of time so she wanted to check with the other woman that none of us were in labor i don't know if this woman was but i basically got a bit delayed and i was just getting more and more panicky because i was like this is taking a while eventually managed to get down there mum came to have talia got there at eight o'clock um it takes like about 45 minutes from where we live um didn't get seen until about 20 it was like 20 to 9 or something like that which at this point the baby had been moving he'd moved on the phone whilst i was on hold and then he'd moved in hospital and i thought well this is like this always happens doesn't it like the babies never move and as soon as you're in hospital they just start moving again and there done a wee sample and they found a little bit of protein taken some bloods from me and have booked me in for a scan tomorrow morning so i've got a scan tomorrow morning to check the baby it's only a little bit of protein and i feel like that's the bit that i'm missing because i'm hearing protein and i'm hearing there's protein not like there's a little bit i'm hearing the word protein so it could either mean preeclampsia or uti but it's making me really really anxious i was very emotional i didn't eat dinner last night um what i did eat i threw up because i was just anxious i hadn't eaten from like three o'clock in the afternoon and i'm basically now just panicking as to where what's going on baby's moving not as crazy as what he has been now i want to just say that he's maybe moved down into my pelvis a little bit more so there isn't as much room for him to like move you never know and i'm waiting for my bloods i'm really really hoping it's not preeclampsia my blood pressure is fine so they weren't worried about that they just said if i get any headaches which i've had one headache um but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know so i'll speak to you in the morning <laughs> bye so yeah we tried doing the cot um last weekend realized when i have a board that's coming today so i'm hoping in the next couple of days i can get well chris will be home from like three o'clock tomorrow so i'm hoping to, to change our bed sheets um one last time before he comes set up his cot ready put his protector down his mattress his sheet whatever 
so that's all ready so our room apart from the stuff that needs sorting our bed situation is okay yeah i didn't feel anxious at all with talia and the whole pregnancy um and i don't know if it's because when I was at this stage with her in pregnancy it was hot it was sunny I was outside I was getting like vitamin d compared to like now it's raining it's cold it's miserable like it's just not not been great I don't know um but yeah I feel anxious I feel like I feel anxious because of Talia um obviously I hope I have a good labor and everything goes fine and the fact that I had a good labor with Talia apart from it being long it should be fine but because I've got a two year old, like it worries me if something was, was to happen. I don't know. And I try and be honest and I try and talk about it because I feel like it's a good way to be. But yeah, it kind of just makes me a little bit sad and a little bit anxious. Um, and I try not to think about it. And I'm trying to think about the end result of like holding our baby and everything being nice. Um, so him being born with like RSV season and flu season and stuff like that makes me a little bit like anxious as well because I'm just worried like I've got a cold Chris has got a cough Talia's got a cold but she's also teething and like I don't want the baby to get anything I don't want to be ill in labor um I don't want to be like fighting a cold or a cough whilst trying to push hello hello so I have already been updating you I really feel out of breath what the hell um I've already been updating you throughout the week of how I've been feeling what's been going on I'm yet to talk about my midwife appointment um but to be honest there isn't really much to say like after going to hospital they wanted like the I think the hospital wanted like more of a wee sample from me um because it was like mixed growth or something in my last one um they couldn't find anything for pre bleh, they couldn't find anything for like pre clamps or anything so I don't we don't have a problem I don't think but they just wanted another wee sample just to make sure we spoke about the sweep but I don't want that my next appointment is two days after my due date if I'm not already in labor or have given birth um the baby is two-fifths engaged so it was three-fifths on Monday and is now two-fifths I honestly can feel the pressure I can feel it so much last night in bed I just could not get comfy like I didn't know which side to lie on my hips was hurting my back was hurting like I just felt super uncomfortable so this weekend I'm just gonna have a, a really productive weekend again balancing that out with resting because I honestly am so tired um I can't decide like I know it's all hypothetical because I'm not ever really gonna know when he is gonna come but I I thought he was gonna come on the 39th week I, apart from the back pain and the hip pain I haven't really had any other symptoms as to like why I would think he would come early um but literally we have nine days until my due date nine days <laughs> I can't believe it so let's just crack on hello so it is sunday evening um currently 10 to 5 <laughs> i feel like it's so late um and i haven't even said hello to you guys today we're speaking to my midwife about clothes because it's the one thing that i feel most anxious about in terms of what he's wearing um just because i had a summer baby and it was a heat wave before um and just the whole it being colder darker different seasons like i just feel a little bit nervous her advice that she gave to me was to take the smaller vest tops because even even if he's like an eight pound baby a tiny baby vest top will still fit him some vest tops that are like up to 7.8 pounds um and my midwife said that if you take like tiny baby stuff it will be more snug on him which is what you want because if you you want to get a book? That's okay, darling. She said it doesn't really matter about like not to three stuff if it's like a little bit bigger, as long as like the vest top is more snug to him. Um, so I'm basically gonna pack. I think that's 
Mr's underwear, is that both ours or just yours? No, that's just mine. Okay, so then mine will be in this. I don't know. I don't, you packed it. You, you packed you the packed bags? It. Yeah, but I didn't. You yours? packed the bags, I put the bags right, in the bag. I reckon, is it that one? What? It's funny, Dad gets a small little bag, Mum gets bloody all the big stuff. Well, that's because you just said you're not going to change much. Yeah, but I've still got to put all these clothes in. Could have given me a big bag like your one. My hands are hot, aren't Why? Because I can feel it on there. Okay, so the hospital bag stuff is done. <laughs> he actually has clothes now because I feel like there was one point where I was just like... Nothing's gonna be done. I'm not ready. But I don't feel like that now. 